Oh my God, you guys, Chanel bags are breaking. Chanel heart bags are breaking or just falling apart. Everything is a huge mess. Why is everything falling apart at Chanel? Please let me know, Chanel. Why is everything falling apart? Let me tell you something. I just watched a video by a wonderful YouTuber, Saki Saki. Hello, sweetie darling. Come join us. Hello, sweetie darling. Be sure to subscribe to Saki Saki's YouTube channel. I will post the link to her video and her channel in the description box down below. Wonderful lady. She's obsessed with everything rose and pink. And she just posted a video that I was kind of shocked while watching. The video is entitled... Um, Chanel quality sucks, question mark, exclamation mark, how my heart bag broke and following up. Okay, Saki Saki, thank you so much. Living for the Vivian Westwood choker necklace, by the way, sweetie darling. Fabulosity. Thank you so much. All right, Saki Saki, bye. You guys, so Saki Saki basically um, bought the big coral rose the actual bag, not the Wallet Unchanged. She bought the heart-shaped rose bag. And then something happened to it. Before I get to that, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Push the Join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Decaball spelled together there as well for extra perks. Thank you to all my members and patrons who have already pledged this video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday and you're all invited to partake in the chats. Cue in the chats. Hello, darlings. How's it going? Sweetie darlings. Sweetie, sweetie darlings. Listen, what can I tell you? I can tell you this. Uh, Saki Saki was showing her beautiful bag and showing how the chain fell off. And let me show you. Let's cue in the picture so we get straight to it. Now, this is the actual Chanel heart bag, the biggest one available, the only one that's actually classified as a bag. All the other ones are classified as small leather goods, all the other shapes of the Chanel heart bag. So she got the biggest one and she said in her video, oh, by the way, everything I say in my video is for entertainment purposes only, just my opinion, not rooted in facts or reality, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly everything. So, Saki Saki, as you can see, she loves pink hues and white hues. Oh, by the way, check out that white Vivian Westwood bag over there. With I love a girl who loves Vivian Westwood. Check out that Westwood bag with the golden orb. That's my girl. That's my girl. So, she gets the bag and then she says, she. I think she said in her video she was out and about with her mom and took the bag out like for the first time, you know, to enjoy it a little bit. You know, and uh, Saki Saki also just uh, got a baby. So congratulations, sweetie. Uh, mama bear, right? Super cute. And so basically, oh, Jackie, thank you so much for the super chat, sweetie. We're going to get to that in a minute as well. But okay, so she goes out, enjoys the bag. She's out with her mom, apparently, right? She's walking and all of a sudden she's like, oh, oh my God. Like she grabbed it last minute before the whole thing fell off. And let me show you the next photo because obviously Saki Saki then posts like close-ups. As you can see the bag. Now, hold on. I have a little something, something here as well. You know, I got my little heart here as well. I check out the unboxing on the and the review of this one on my channel. But just for the sake of like having a little more examples here, I have here the Chanel Heart Necklace uh, bag with the tiniest turn lock in the world. Oh, well, I'll, let me just leave the felt in front of it. So what, what we have here is this, this little metal giblet right there should be screwed on from the inside. I think you can see, yeah, it's a screw. So it's screwed on on the inside. You have the, the rivet thing, right? And this is what fell out. So you see that little tiny hole on the bag? That's where her chain literally flew off. And between her thumb uh, and her, um, uh, my God, I'm losing the words, uh, the finger, she's holding the actual metal bit that fell off. And uh, <laughs> you would think it's shocking, but it's Chanel. We're used to it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's okay. It's Chanel. 
<laughs> so let me show you more on the next picture. This is the little tiny screw that's inside the bag. So that was the actual screw that was screwed on to, you know, the top. So if you have, if my skin is the leather, the screw goes through this hole right there and then down here. Well, actually, no, the, the rivet is down here. It pokes up outside of the bag. And then up here is where the actual metal part was screwed on top. So as this thing was, I guess, turning, 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 boop, it fell off into the bag and the chain popped off from the top of the bag. So you can see this little piece is what she found inside of her bag later on. So thankfully she didn't lose that little piece. So that little screw fell down. The screw has an extra piece of leather attached to it so that the screw doesn't damage the actual bag upon screwing it onto the bag. That's why that little piece of leather is there. Now, um, so this little piece is what's inside of the bag, okay? This is also how the inside of the leather looks like, by the way. All right, moving on to the next picture. This was on top, so the outer side of the bag, so the little top thing, and the screw was screwed on to that little hole. So nothing is damaged. It's not broken. The screw is either too short or wasn't screwed in tight enough. Of course, if you screw it in tighter, you might damage the bag. You might damage the leather, the interior. Uh, this bag is lined in gros gras. You might damage that. But so obviously <laughs> she's been using this bag just once, right? She said one day or two days and this thing just popped off and she was super sad. She's like, well, the bag is now sold out. These are super sought after. It's not like they can just give her a new one. So she was thinking what to do. Does she return it, get her money back, get a voucher, send it off for repairs, or does she just screw it on herself? I would personally just screw it on myself. Because what else are you going to do there? It's not really broken. It's just a loose screw. But let me slip. <laughs> but, you know... And this is something that we've seen already with Chanel in particular in this fashion show, the Spring Summer 2022 collection. Let me show you the next picture. Yeah. This is the runway from the Chanel Prêt-à-Porter 2022 collection. It's a photo taken from the runway of Chanel's fashion show. The model is holding the bag and as she's walking down the runway, the chain just pops off. And, and you can see it there. <laughs> she's holding it. <laughs> the bag is attached only on one end. The other chain is like, you can see it's flying away from her skirt. Um, so, <laughs> ta-da! <laughs> now, I'm not so sure if this is the Wallet on Chain version. I think this is the Wallet on Chain version, not the big bag. Now, the big bag and the Wallet on Chain are both made in France. All the smaller hard bags are made in Italy. Like the necklace that I have or the uh, little wristlets with the hearts or the belts with the hearts. Those three... Uh, models uh, were made in Italy, and then the Wallet on Chain and the main bag were made in France. And the made in France pieces are a little bit loose. So, obviously, I immediately asked uh, my boutique and said, I trust my sales associate. Never with my life, but I trust them relatively enough to you know, to ask them a question and believe that they're going to give me the right answer. I said, please be honest with me. Has anybody that you've sold the bag to thus far returned the bag with the screw loose? And I was told categorically, no, nobody returned the bag yet. Do we believe them? Do we not believe them? I don't know. But in the smaller shape i love these hard these chanel hard bags are adorable wallet on chain also the big one 
it's kind of too circular for ah, I made a whole video about it. You you know my opinions. I made several videos on the hard bags. The smaller they are, the cuter they are. Wallet on chain is also really cute. But anyway, her big bag broke. This seems to be a wallet on chain that broke or just got screwed off. <laughs> it got screwed off, baby. <laughs> Bella Lugosi says it appears the French have a screw loose. <laughs> <laughs> not just one I would screw it together myself but add a drop of Loctite just saying says Silala interesting point Tyler says OMG Olivo says would you want to screw it on yourself or would it be better to have the store do it or else they will in, uh, invariably claim you broke it They would try to screw it themselves. If you take it to the store and you say, look, what happened to my bag? They're going to be like, oh, hold on. Let me take it to the back. They take the bag to the back, not you. So you don't even see what they're doing. And God knows what they're doing in the back, trying to screw it back on. So I don't know if I want to let them fiddle with it either. So it's a bit tricky to decide what to do. Damn, now that's something holding on for its dear life, says Jesus, right? Alex says, the bag is holding on to faith. <laughs> Squeakity says, girl, this ain't cute. XC says, isn't that the belt bag? No, this, this, what she's wearing here should be the wallet on chain. I have the necklace. This is the necklace. This is not the belt bag. This is the necklace bag. Blonde and Chatty says, I paid four grand. I ain't getting a screwdriver out for no one. <laughs> says, <laughs> oh my God. Thinking if I must buy a Chanel bag after all, <laughs> says this Pina. Um... Blackno says, not as a, uh, could invalidate the warranty if you screw it in yourself. If if they see that you screwed it in yourself. I mean, uh, how can they prove that you screwed it in yourself? All I'll say, I'd be suspicious if they say nobody has returned a bag because of a mechanical failure, but maybe they mean their own store. Of course, only their own store. I was talking to my sales associate. I asked my sales associate, of the bags you sold, did your any of your clients call you back or write you to say, hey, my bag is flawed? And she said no. And she said no. Debbie says, oh, Chanel. I still love these crazy little heart things. I don't know why. They just, they grew on me. Like, <laughs> I really love this little booger. Like, it, you know, it hangs. It has the felt in front of it. But... I'm a sucker for Chanel, so just call me Kreskin. What can I say? You never see a coarse handle fall off, says Frozen Luxury. <laughs> but seriously, shouldn't they be riveted? Asks Alex. Monachati says, yeah, the danger of DIY is if it happens again, they will probably say you tampered with it and won't cover you, says Blonde and Chatty. Jizza um, says, in this case, Gorilla Glue may help. Use it only at your own peril. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe and never give up on love. Bye.